<laughs> hey, check it out. I'm weaving a hat out of lizard tails for my mom. Or not. Another pot holder for my mother. I made this for my mom. <laughs> Don't worry, Fluffy. I'll make you one later. <laughs> Your mommy's lucky to have kids like you. Oh, that reminds me, Sawyer. Can you mail this postcard to my mom? Sure. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, Zombuddy? <laughs> Got something in my eye. <laughs> Just keep loving your mamas. Ew, he turned my pot holder into a snot holder. Hello? I just wanted to call and say hi. What? No, I'm not changing my mind, and I'm not moving back home. <laughs> What's up with Sawyer? No worries. It's a family thing. Never get involved with other people's family things. Hello? Oh, he can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> really? Great idea, sure. You got a pen? Gonna help Sawyer out with this family thing. Oh. <laughs> What's that? Young man. Wow! I can't believe you're already here. Sawyer's gonna be so surprised that you're... A zombie? Well, aren't you the smart one? Must be that big, juicy brain. Zombie mom! Ah! Oh, where's the fire, campers? Zombie! <laughs> brain! Mom? What are you doing here? My baby! How did you find me? Just trying to help. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thanks for ruining my afterlife, Buttinsky. <laughs> Introduce me to your little feast. Uh, I have friends. Mom, these are my campers, who are not for snacking. Campers, this is my mother. Hi. Hi. Nice to eat you. <laughs> okay. Let's get you one pack. Didn't exactly think the whole zombie mom thing through, did ya? Who'd have thunk a zombie's mom would be a zombie mom? Sorry I messed up, Sawyer. I thought you missed your mom. I did. I do. It's just my mom always treats me like a little kid. Plus, she's kind of crazy for... <laughs> ah! I haven't seen her since I gave up brains to run Camp Lake Bottom. Remember, keep your weapons close and your eyes open. You never know when she may strike! Sweet dreams, campers! Great! How are we gonna survive the night with Zombie Mom wandering around with a bad case of the munchies? We let her know the snack bar is closed. I'll take guard duty. No one gets by Eagle Eye McGee. <sighs> Huh? Ah! Back, undead beast! I mean, Mrs. Undead Beast! Don't let him go! Time for breakfast! Ah! Uh, where are you? Coming, baby! Well, she seems nice. I like her, except for the brain eating part. <laughs> Looks like someone's been messing with family business. Maggie! <laughs> Mom, you can't just wander around trying to snack on my campers. Oh, don't be mad. I made your favorite cookies. Ginger brainies. Ginger b, -b, -b brainies Well, I guess one couldn't hurt. <laughs> So, don't you look precious? Who's mommy still a zombie? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'll be in the kitchen sharpening my knives. Scream if you need me. Cool. I have the same sailor suit. Shh. 
I just want to take a peek. This is disturbing on so many levels. Don't you want to come home with Mommy? Maybe, Mommy. Don't you want to eat ranch again? <gasps> well, I, um, sometimes. No, Mommy! Sawyer, don't listen to her! But she's my Mommy. I just want you to be happy and eat ranch. <laughs> is that so wrong? Hands off our buddy's brain! Are you gonna offer her a snack? That's all I could find. Oh. Let him go! All your fighting is tearing me apart! I didn't mean McGee upset you, dear. That's okay. Mommy's going to tell you a dead time story. Yay! A story! Once upon a time, there was a good little zombie who loved his mommy, ate up all his brains, and grew big and strong. Brains! That's it, sweetie. Take a nice little dirt nap. Uh, I think it's time to go. No, Sawyer needs us. No, he needs his mommy. So, my sweet little undead boy's coming back home to be what he's meant to be. <laughs> that was a short nap. Brain! 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 I'm so proud of my song, boy. Now let's go get some brains! No, oh, I thought I'd never find my way home. Oh! And his mom had gone full on zombie. It's a mom's apocalypse. It's a what? They want to eat our brains. Oh. To the mess hall. I'll hold them off. Rosebud, Rosebud, let us in. Pass one, please. Ah, that's it. One second. Brains. <laughs> Rosebud! That would be good. <gasps> it's a madhouse out there. Armand, um, how did you get in? The back door was open. Good thing, too. Otherwise, I'd be stuck outside with those zombies. Nuts! <laughs> how much you love her by eating McGee's brains. <laughs> <laughs> Sawyer, no! <gasps> My postcard! Sawyer, listen to this! Dear Mom, I love Camp Lake Bottom, especially my counselor, Sawyer. No! Don't listen to him! <laughs> he keeps us more or less safe and makes every moment at Lake Bottom fun, fun, fun! Love McGee. Um, P.S. He doesn't eat brains. Like ever! You... You wrote to your mom? About me? Sawyer! Oh. Finish your brains or there's no dessert! Do I lie awake at night dreaming of scooping out the campers' brains and eating them like ice cream? Sir! But I don't, because being a camp counselor is my true dream. And Camp Lake Bottom is my home now. And if you can't handle it, Mom, <laughs> just go! This is all your fault. You're a bad influence. <laughs> no, Mom, this is my choice. These little brains aren't for eating. Please, Mommy. 
Okay, Shani. What a great mom. Except for the brain eating part. Ah. Uh, group hug. <laughs> or not. I'm good either way. It's not gonna shake itself. I don't know, Sawyer. I don't think this is gonna work. See? Huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> Best batch of bird poop yet. There's more on me than in that basket. Oh, I'd give anything for a poop-proof sweater. Please tell me this isn't for Rosebud's pancake mix. This poop's not for eating, you silly. It's for the most splendiferous monumental monster holiday ever. <laughs> It's Doo Doo Day! It comes from above in a flourish of feathers, the most joyous and gruesome of all get together. It's Doo Doo Day! It's Doo Doo Day! It's the Flower Family Food Day! That Doo Doo Day? As in Doo Doo? It's whatever you want it to be. I choose to believe it's Doo Doo, as in the glorious hairdo of the magical permadactyl. The perma what? Oh, the great permadactyl flies down from the sky. If we show our gratitude and if we make her feel welcome. And but her hops are was always compliments. Then she rewards every monster with special eggs containing the best present ever. Present? I'm in! Hold your hoofskies! We never had campers for Doodoo -doo Day before. You must respect our traditions. What? Me? Not respectful? Come on! No one is a bigger respecter of presents, I mean traditions, than me. Right, guys? Please? <laughs> please? <laughs> Pretty please? Oh, fine. You can join us for the celebration. Yeah! We're getting presents! We're getting presents! I'm afraid I make a huge mistake. Ah, uh, you think? Nothing is better than presents! High five! Yeah! Now that's the dude you don't. Funny. Real funny. Permit Gatchel's gonna love our traditional doo-doo day next. More hay, please. Huh, it's good. But you know what would make it great? What, more help? Nope, more everything. It's nice seeing a camper full of the doo-doo day spirit. Oh, he's full of it all right. Whoa, now that's a doo-doo day nest. Hey, Armand, need a hand? No, thank you, McGee. The permadactyl's runway carpet is complete. Hmm, or is it? After all, a runway needs landing lights. Huh. Shoo, shoo, you pesky plane! This is for the permadactyl! Does this doo doo day garland have enough belly button lint? When it comes to the holidays, enough is never enough! Any, outy, any, outy, yay, outy! Nothing too good for presents. I mean, the permadactyl. Can I get a yay? Yay! <laughs> wow, you guys should try this! Barf, these eggs are rotten. And this cream is curdled. Perfect for the traditional egg bog. Hmm. This egg bog is not revolting enough. Keep peddling. Heck yeah. Bump repeaters. <laughs> Gross stuff and presents. Oh, this holiday is awesome. Oh, yeah. You're the king of doo-doo, all right. <laughs> <laughs> We need more hair for the traditional doo-doo day doo-doo wigs. No problemo. Hmm. No way. Oh, come on, guys. Where's your doo-doo day spirit? Dead. Now. Sleep. How can you sleep? It's time to hang our doo-doo day stinky meat socks. Ew! <gasps> See, I covered mine in blue cheese and left it out in the sun all day. Happy Doo Doo Day Eve, guys! Doo Doo Day! My meat 
socks full of flies. That's good, I think. Happy Doo Doo Day, everyone! Happy Doo Doo Day, McGee! What he said. Happy Doo Doo Day, campers! Dr. Wigs for all! Not gonna happen. But Gretch, you have to, or we won't get our amazing presents! Is that why you're being such a Doo Doo Day ding dong? Presents? No, maybe. Mostly. Aw, oh, come on, Gretchen, just put on the wig, please! Move it! Doo Doo Day waits for no one! Yeah! Day! When in Doo Doo, do as the Doo Doo's do. Cause it's Doo Doo Day! It's Doo Doo Day! It's the Fowl Family Food Day! Ah, it's him! Or her! Or it! Nope. Nope. There! There she is! Happy Doo Doo Day, Permadactyl! Bring on the prezzies! Remember, campers, you must flatter the Permadactyl! Your mullet is magnificent! I made your favorite egg bog and cookies with extra maggots! Oh. Isn't he absolutely majestic? Well, that vest is pretty rad. <laughs> Permadactyl, I totally get why it's called Doo Doo Day. Because that hairdo is Doo Doo Awesome! <laughs> A pony with a sharp forehead! What every Sasquatch dreams of! Huh. Do designers all beware! It will be like cooking for the gods! Dreams can come true! Ah, baby! Time to get what I always wished for! Best present ever? What's this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sorry, he's a human. He doesn't know what he's saying. Does this look like a bite to you? Quiet. This is the lamest gift ever. There, there, permadactyls. No need to get hot under the collar. Who would want to be caught in a nerd catcher like this? Okie dokie. Time to run! Oh, so the bird took off. What's the big deal? The big deal is you have doomed us all. Huh? That cuckoo has wiped out entire suburbs for less than what you just did. Taken out? How? I think we're about to find out. Take cover, camper! The trench isn't ready! I just had my fur dry cleaned. Ah. Piggy, stop! The permadactyl's after you! Anyone close to you is going down! Sorry, Gretz! No! Get down! One out of the wretched! Ew! Well, at least it's not a flying elephant. It comes from above in a flourish of feathers. The most joyous and gruesome of all get together. Yo, Squirt, get out of there! Leave my friends alone, you flea bitten bag of feathers! Ah! I hate it when Gretchen's right. <laughs> Way to go, McGee. It's poop Mageddon out there, thanks to you. It's not my fault that bird blew its tail feathers. Actually, it's totally your fault. Okay, I wanted the best present ever. It's all I could think about. Is that so wrong? Yes. yes. I'm sorry, guys. I put you all in danger and ruined Doo Doo Day. You forgot about being a selfish, bossy dumbbat. Oh, yeah, how could I forget that? I'm gonna fix this. Somehow. It's too late! The permodactyl's gonna take out the whole camp just to get at you! Run for it! No! My friends had nothing to do with this! I'm the one you want! Hey, Permy! Come and get me! Go, go, go! Oh. Yes! <laughs> oh, wait! I'm wearing my wonderful sweater! See? No more running. I deserve this! For friends, for camp, for everything. Thanks for the present! It's a Doo Doo Day miracle! Hey, this is the poop-proof sweater I asked for! 
awesome! I get Doo Doo Day now. It isn't about the presents. It's about being grateful. Sorry, guys, for all the trouble I've caused. Thank you, Permadactyl. This is the best gift ever! It comes from above and it flourishes the fastest, the most joyous and gruesome of all the together. It's Doo Doo Day. It's Doo Doo Day. It's the Fowl Family Food Day! That. This is the part of the holidays I like. Yep. And I can't wait for next year. Whoops. down. Nice touch. Now for stage two. Then your posts. <laughs> Operation Get Flag Back from McLamish McGee is a go. This time they went too far. What's wrong, Bud Splat? Someone turn your frown right side down? Very funny, McGee. Let's see how you like it when I take... Um... Fuck. This in your face! Now I have your precious little ceramic guy thing. Oh, no! Not our garden gnome! Ha 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 ha! squat away! <laughs> <laughs> Rosebud's gonna be mad. She's crazy about gnomes. Nah, she'll be fine. It's no big deal. <laughs> I'm taking requests. Ah! What are you making us eat today? I smell subatomic chili bloppers. <laughs> or that could just be me decaying. Don't these usually come with a note tied to them? Oh, man! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Hey, look, a note! Return the sunny smiles flag or your gnome shall be no more. So, original butt squat. <laughs> McGee, what have you done? That missing gnome will doom us all. Oh, come on, Rosebud. Like a garden gnome could doom anything. <laughs> Too soon again, didn't I? Yup. This is a takeover. A talking gnome. Why am I not surprised? Well then, how about this for a surprise? <laughs> okay, I'm surprised. When you address me, you will refer to me by my proper rank, Papa Gnome. <laughs> Do you hear me? Can I just call you Pops? Oh, this is funny to you. Well, I've got one for you, funny man. One of my guards was gnome-napped. And I think you're gonna tell me everything you know. Or else. Or else what? I know where your friend is, and I can get him back. No problem. Mm, fine, but I'm keeping your counselors here as insurance. You have until sunset to get my gnome, or else! 
Or else! Fuck. Or else! Ah! I just realized I left the water running in my tub. All right, you! Time to talk. How did McGee get past our perimeter? Was it an inside job? An outside job? An after-school job with occasional weekend shifts? I get it. They didn't tell you anything. You're a lone wolf. An outsider. Just like me. Yeah, we're a lot alike, you and I. Oh, I've got plans for you. Okay, team, we're going in. Let's get that gnome for our counselors! For, for our, our counselors! counselors! Those flamingos are tricky. Flag. Now know me. We got a new flag. What do you think, Barry? My thoughts exactly. Barry says if you want him back, you'll have to sing the Sunny Smile song on camera. <sighs> okay, fine. And he says you'll have to do it while dancing. Fine. Wearing this. No way. McGee, the sunset. <laughs> Get ready for your close-up, Mickey! <sighs> hey, kids! It's fun time, the sun time, so this fun time we try. Keep sunny smiles. <laughs> fun, fun, sun, sun, fun, sun, sun, fun, and sunny smiles. Did we mention it was fun? Yeah, hilarious. I did what you wanted, Butt Squad. Now know me. Ha! No deal, McGee. Ow! Changed my mind. Gotta go. <laughs> you can keep the costumes. I'll get Butt Squad. You guys head back to camp and stall those gnomes. <laughs> Little help here. Thank you. <laughs> 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 are running out of time. Guess what happens if they aren't back with my gnome guard by sunset? Yeah, yeah, we get it, you cranky. <gasps> Hands up, our counselors! Take it, squirt. <laughs> nice try, soldiers. But time's almost up. Ten, nine, that gnome is coming with me! Barry doesn't want to go with you! Seven! That gnome is coming home one way or another! Six! Five! Four! Three! Two! One! Your friend failed his mission! Looks like we'll have some new statues for the garden. Twigs and berries! 
<laughs> Not exactly how I planned it. Say night, night, Mr. Sunshine. No! <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> moment of my life is now preserved forever. Hey, Sunshine, your vid's gone viral. Ten million hits. You're famous! Really? Well, in that case, we better give the fans what they want. <laughs> hey, kids! It's fun time in sun time, but there were only two hits. Yeah, I know. This one's for me. And it was fun. When the voice said, Get out now! The killer pineapple is inside the outhouse! <laughs> that almost scared the life back into me! I'm never gonna eat pineapple in the outhouse again! <laughs> <sighs> Nothing? Come on, Gretch! We're camping on Screech Island! There's gotta be something here that scares you! Nope. How about this? Nope. This? Nope. Now that's got to scare you. Nope. Like I said, not. Chip. What was that all about? Whatever. Good night. <laughs> Stream campers! Well rested and ready, ready to, to explore! Uh, didn't sleep a wink. You! Now that's scary. You. <laughs> Whoa! Who wrecked our stuff? Hello, little guy. Want a peanut? It! It did this! Uh, Gretch, that's a chipmunk. You know, fuzzy, cute, chipmunky. Don't let the cuteness fool you. Look into its demonic eyes. Uh, Gretch, there's no way a chip... Isn't it obvious? That stripy cream tore up our camp! Get real. Something a lot huger than a chipmunk made this bite. Don't you get it? They're thieves, hoarders, liars. They have expandable cheeks. That chipmunk is evil! Good one, Gretch! You really had me there. Aw, he's just a cute chipmunk. All he wants is a little something to eat. Be careful, Squirt! He's deadly. Oh. Uh. He has an appetite for blood! Well, you really are afraid. Chipper wouldn't hurt anyone. What's your boy? Come on, just feed the chipmunk. It won't bite. Okay, I can do this. The awesome power of friendship! Here, little evil chipmunk. Nice evil chipmunk. Don't rip my arm off, little evil ch chipmunk! I can't do this! Uh, Gretch, not the best hiding place. We're 
worst case of chipmunkophobia I've ever seen. Actually, it's the only one. <laughs> I told Dad to get the power windows. <clears throat> hey, everybody, check me out. What do you want, butt squat? Where's McGee and the rest of Camp Loser Bottom? I want to see them drool over my new chopper. We will never talk. We are like brick walls, iron girders, stone towers. We gave a solemn promise not to reveal their whereabouts. Really? Not even for club sized vital baboon hair gel? <laughs> Screech Island camping trip. <laughs> gotcha, suckers! Some brick wall. What? It's hard to get decent hair products out here. Oh. Here, Chipper Chipper! Stop feeding the chipmunk! It's evil, I tell ya! But there's not much to eat around here. Then let it starve! <laughs> with a mighty big appetite must live on this island. And it's got chubby cheeks, beady little eyes, and a dried up black heart of evil! <laughs> <laughs> hey, bottom dwellers, where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are and see my insanely cool chopper. Is that you, McLoser McGee? I see you. <laughs> Campers is a terror scream. We zombies hear a lot of those. Chipmunk! Like I said, we hear a lot of those. I'm out of here. Oh, come on. Relax, Gretchen. Here, Chipper, Chipper. Oh! Our boat! Okay, that's not good. Don't you see? It's one step ahead of us. We're trapped. Trapped, I tell ya! Come on, Greg, you gotta drop it. What is it, Squirt? There's something there, and it's coming this way. So why aren't we going the other way? <laughs> Don't listen to it! Guys! Chipper knows where it's safe! Follow that chipmunk! Guys, no! It's a trap! Well, 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 wait for me! Hmm, he's gone. Anybody know where we are? <gasps> hey, losers! for blood. Fire! You were right, Gretch. It is an evil monster chipmunk from the underworld! Yeah, think? Okay, it's just the three of us. Okay, just the two of us. Okay, it's just me. What about me? Okay, butt squat. And what do you think we do about it? Um, uh, uh I'll stay here and be the lookout while you go and rescue everyone. Like I said, I'm all alone. Hey, Chipper, give me back my friends. Okay, I'm done doing lookout. Come back and save me first. Hello, hello. I'm coming for you, Sawyer. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I'm coming for the rest of you, Sawyer! Okay, now I got you. <laughs> Squirt, get Butt Squad out of there. That chopper is our only way off the island. About time. See ya, losers. <laughs> you guys take Sawyer. I'll hold off the rat. Hey, look, a peanut! That'll teach 
you to mess with Camp Lake Bottom! <gasps> hey, who chomped my awesome chopper? Oh, right. I bought us some time. Let's go! Go where? That chipmunk had my rotors for dinner. <laughs> Always happy to lend a hand and a leg. <laughs> go, go, go! trapped on Screech Island if it wasn't for my awesome new helicopter! Time to feed another rodent. Oh! Enough with the peanuts! Ah, hey, For days, man up. We've been walking for 47 seconds. I'm hungry. Can we stop for some toe jam jerky? No time for snacking. We're almost there. <gasps> oh, found it. Feast your eyes on the rarest plant in the world the Bolognese cactus. It blooms once every 100 years, and time's almost up. It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. Okay, everyone gather around for a keepsake photo of the giant... <gasps> meatball! <laughs> Not bad, but it could use a little sprinkle of cinnamon. No! <laughs> I know it's not your conventional meat product seasoning, but... That wasn't for eating! No, spit it out! Spit it out! Stop <laughs> that tickles! No, oh, the humanity! Not to mention the strange, terrible side effects. Wait! Uh, what kind of side effects? Brain explosions, facial warts, extreme foot odor... <laughs> or maybe nothing happens. No one really knows. <laughs> now I have to wait another hundred... Yes! Oh, okay, back to camp. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm, meatball -y. No itchy bumps, brain swelling, smelly feet, or mutant hunger for human flesh? Don't think so. Then it looks like you're okay. Ow! <gasps> that funny, guys! Who lowered the door frame? Whoa! Now that's a side effect. This is the kind of side effect I can work with. Ah! Hello? Personal space! Ah! First you destroyed a bolognese meatball, now the cabin? No chocolate-covered maggots for you. Ooh, I feel a breeze. We've got to cover that giant butt. <laughs> nice short squirt. They are a cat snug. And now, for my triple backwards swadinger with a twist. 
Loving the new look. Sorry, still working on that cactus meatball. Hey, we're just happy it wasn't from the back end. Yeah, that could start an earthquake. <laughs> Check it out! Walking the dogs around the world! Huh? Whoa! I am the Yo Yo Man! I don't know how they got a giant squirt, but I know how I'm gonna get one. <sighs> oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> no problem, big buddy. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I got a dinkle. Well, looks like Mega Squirt's got to do a Mega Squirt. <laughs> I gotta admit it. More squirt equals more fun. Yeah. I think it's gonna wear off. Maybe in a week, maybe a hundred years. A hundred years? Give or take a decade. Who knows? Time for lunch. I hope he doesn't want seconds. Occupy! Gotta go! <laughs> Gotta go! What the fifty foot guy gotta do to get some privacy around here? <laughs> Contact. Who's taking squirt so long? Twenty times bigger, twenty times more pee. Oh! Hey, watch where you're stomping, buddy. What's up with the dorky hat? Yeah, and why does it have a butt squat on it? Hey, bottom squishers! Your giant is mine now! Say goodbye to Mega Squirt and hello to Mighty Mega Squat! Hey! Leave our giant buddy alone, butt stink! Come on, Gretch. Let's get rid of Squirt's headache. Squirt! It's Gretchen and McGee! Don't you recognize us? Squash those bugs, Mega Squad! <laughs> What's a zombie got to do to get a little privacy around here? Ah, smack you later, McGee! Well, I enjoyed being average height while it lasted. We've got to find a way to help Squirt without getting stomped! Well, there is a little project I've been working on. We got a giant robot? I never got around to finishing it. Finished! This is gonna be awesome! Let's fire this baby up! Let's go, Butterflies! Obviously, a few kinks that need to be ironed out. <laughs> Behold, Mega Squad! This is so cool! What the? Okay, butt sneeze! Really, Squirt, or feel the fury of Mega Bottom? I thought we were calling it Kick Butt Board. Wasn't it Junk Bottom? Robo McSuckum Bottom. I just call it Wilbur. Well, 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 if it isn't McGee and his dweeby friends inside a robo hunk of junk. Whatever, butt sneeze. Feel the fury of the... We're gonna need a bigger robot. Ha! Let the crushing commence! Squirt, no! We're your friends! Don't squash us! Huh? Okay, bottom dwellers, our pal needs us! Activate turbo jump! Turbo, turbo jump, jump, go! So I can mega squish you! <laughs> no problem. Activate Mecha Sword! We don't go to Mecha Sword. What? Oh, wait. I've got an idea. Mecha Sword, go! <laughs> Have a 
nice flight, mecha losers. <laughs> My cabin! Oh. Ooh, Squirt doesn't know his own strength. But Squat does. Look! <laughs> Get moving, you giant dweeb! Nobody talks to my mega buddy like that! Fire mecha balls! Mecha boys, go! Yeah! Oh, win it! No fair! Time for a little camp stamping! <gasps> my cabin! You just squashed the wrong camp, butt squat! Mega charge! Yeah! My beloved mess hall! Uh, I thought we were trying to stop him from destroying our camp! Ah! Yeah! Too strong! Feel the power of Mega Squad! Oh, oh, come on! You should have gone before we left! Huh? The meatball! We've got one shot! Make it count! Activate! Make a gassy hand! Ha! You missed your one shot, McGoof! Actually, I meant to say two, but one sounded cooler. <laughs> <laughs> ha, it's working! <laughs> Any more meatballs? Ah, did I miss something? Ah, not much. Just Butt Squad using you as a giant destructo machine. <gasps> Me? Well, that's just not nice at all. <laughs> <laughs> you may have defeated Mega Squad McGee, but now my giant Robo Butt is ready to stomp. <laughs> Leave our camp alone, you Robo Jerk! Yeah! Squirt one, but squat zero. Now that you're a normal size squirt, I suggest not eating any exotic meatballs. Yeah! Now be a good bottom dweller and grab a hammer! This camp ain't gonna fix itself. Activate Mecha Hammer! No? Let's go bottom dwellers! Toss till total butt slob humiliation. One's all I need to crush you, McGoon. I hope you enjoy losing, McGee. Butt squat, butt squat. He's the man. If he can't do it, you, McGee, can. Final round of the Zipline Horseshoe Playoffs. Who will win a trip to the fabulous prize shed? Pick a prize. Any prize. Like these false teeth. Ow! A little help here. Out of the way, loser! <laughs> Low blow! Here's another one. <laughs> no! It's a ringer! McGee wins! Couldn't have done it without you, butt slop. <laughs> Choose anything you want, camper! <laughs> nope. Ew! And no. Whoa! I picked this! Ew! Uh, a moldy horse head? That's gross, even for Lake Bottom. Lake Bottom's got way grosser stuff than that. Come on, Suze. I don't need their stinky lame-o prizes. I've got a case full of real trophies. Yeah? But none of those trophies is a moldy horse head! Yeah! <laughs> I'm okay. I like your trophy, McGee, even if it stinks. It doesn't stink. <laughs> Lunch time! Come get your boiled skunk! Oh, yo! Stinky! Where am I? This isn't the shed. I gotta hide! It talks? 
My trophy just went from awesome to fans awesome amazing! I'm a trophy? Oh, yeah! I picked you. I'm McGee. Well, color me flattered. Flebus gets the name. After hanging around so long, you must be starving. Food! I'm starving! That might explain the whole starving thing. That might explain the whole stinking thing, too. What? Children playing with a mutilated horse head is a beautiful thing. Disgusting, but at the same time, adorable. Hey, McGee, look at all my awesome, gorgeous, expensive trophies. <laughs> <laughs> my lame, pathetic, worthless trophies. That moldy horse head is repulsive, disgusting, stinky, and it will be mine! I brought you some Betty Bye tea. Thanks, Squirt. Mmm, this really hits the spot. You mean it really hits the floor. Come on, time to hit the sack. Night, Night Flea Biscuit. Biscuit. Night, campers. You're the best trophy ever. Thanks for picking me, McGee. I was afraid this would happen. McGee, wake up! It's coming! No, Rosebud, I didn't eat the couch. It was squirt. Flea Biscuit, where are you going? I don't know. I gotta get away. They said reindeer. Do you think it's Santa? It's too late. We've gotta hide. Hurry! What do you think? It sure ain't Santa. I've been a good boy this year. Is that... Flea Biscuit's body? <laughs> it's found me. <laughs> what was that about? What was I thinking? Of course it would find me. I'm doomed. <gasps> Your body is very talented. No, it's not. I can't go back, McGee. You don't know the awful things it'll make me do. <laughs> Easy, Val. He's got to go through us first. That's what I'm afraid of. If my body can't have me, it'll take another head instead. <gasps> but I use my head for many head-like things. Okay, if he wants a head, we'll give him one. What? Places, everyone, this is not a rehearsal. All right, Armand. I shall give the performance of a lifetime, much as I did as Shrub Number Three in my elementary school's production of Sally Salamander's horrifying tale, Shills in Shrub Town. Nay, nay, nay! Here it comes! Ah, bonjour! Welcome to Lake Bottom's House of Heads. What every pretty pony is wearing this spring. Pure pumpkin perfection. See? What did I tell you? Of course. And no pumpkin for Monsieur. Ah, the pocket look. So you. Gelatin. Fashionable and delicious. Mwah. I think he's buying it. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> this isn't working, McGee. You have to let it take me. Listen to the horse. <laughs> nice pushy. No, no, it's happening. I can't look. <laughs> Everyone stay cool. My head comes off all the time. Ah, mine doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. My body will show your bodies the ropes. Lesson one, stay out of the lake. See, there's no choice, McGee. You've got to give me up. No, there's still a chance. Ah! Uh, maybe you're right. Sorry, Flea Biscuit. Okay, horse, your head is all yours. <laughs> 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 
you mean? Oh, mine. Good luck with the back end, bottom losers. Ah! Easy, horsey. Let's not lose our heads over this. Ah! 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 Come back here with those heads. You don't know what you're dealing with, kid. You better bring me back. Stuff it, horsehead. Hey, Suze, I got McGee's weird, smelly horse trophy. Took you long enough. Ow! Why did you want it again? Oh, phew, this thing does stink. Bye-bye, horsey. Wow! Uh-oh. Ah! Wait, did you get me a pony? Yeah! Take it back, I don't want a pony. I don't have your smelly old head anymore. No offense. Ow! Ah! You did not just put me with the gross zombie and the stinky oh. hairball. Hello? Can I be upgraded to first class? Look, Princess, it's no treat being saddled with you, either. Get your ear out of my face! We're too late! The body got here first! McGee! Flea Biscuit! My body has struck again! We've got to stop it! Oh, we'll stop it, all right. Your body forgot one thing. Two heads are better than none! Oh, horsey! You can't get me, horsey! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Settle this over a shiny red apple? Ah! Hey, wait, Brett! Why don't you come play horseshoes with me? Yeah! <sighs> Here, horsey, horsey. Hi! This is all my fault. Your friends are losing their heads because of me. Don't worry, Flea Biscuit. We're taking them back together. <laughs> McGee, dig in your heels. Atta boy. This is worse than the Barfinator at Ride World. Hold on, McGee! You see? Evil! Would you stop it, horse? I'm trying to give you back your head. Yeah, there, there. I know it's scary without a head. Just ask Butt Squad. I may not have a body, but I still have ears. Steady, boy, don't be afraid. A head needs his horse. I mean, a horse needs his head. Oh, no! Here it comes! Here it comes! This might not have been such a good idea. Well, you might be right, Gretch. <laughs> good job, McGee. That was using your head. You know what they say. You gotta use it or lose it. Oh, no! Not this! Anything but this! It's so horrible, I can't even look! My body wants me to tap dance, and it's a terrible dancer! This is why you were so scared? Come on! Actually, he's pretty good. Yeah, check it out! You rock! Hey, what do you know? My body's been practicing while I was gone! I am good! Hello! Still waiting! Rehead us and make it snappy! Oh, let's go. I have a splitting headache. That's odd, Susie. I always thought of you as more a pain in the neck. You can keep your loser trophy, McGee. So long, bottom dweebers. <laughs> you want to tell them? Ah, uh, let them figure it out. Big finish, Flea Biscuit! <laughs> Hyping your made up game, we're just tossing leads on garbage cans. Yeah, maybe so, but we'll be in the record books as the first ever stink tossers. <laughs> oh, so close! Poor Squid suffers the stench of defeat. My feet smell fine. Ha! Ah, oh, I was robbed! Time to take out the trash. The bottom losers will drool with envy when they see my awesome new multi-tool. 
Prepare to bow to the King of Stink Toss. <laughs> hey, bottom losers. Prepare to drool with envy. Ah, oh, do over. But Squat's head ruined my shot. I don't know. Seems kind of like you nailed the trash to me. Sorry, Butt Smack. If it makes you feel any better, you just got beaten by history. Oh, yeah? Well, now your trash can lit is history, loser. Hey, bring that back. Oh, they'll be at it all day. Your shot. Yay! How does this game work again? Who cares? It was just fun to throw the lids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want it? <laughs> Go fetch, big loser. <laughs> Love to stay in chat, but stink toss calls. Now, which way? Good thing butt scouts always prepared. Behold. I am a tool. I know you are, but what is that? Hilarious. Indispensable, multi, awesome, amazing tool. Now with GPS app. So long, McLoss. Whoa, deja vu. <laughs> Lucky for you and your tool, I learned survival from an expert. <laughs> okay, campers, do not do that. And don't do that. <laughs> and most definitely, do not do that. Ah, forget GPS. We'll use McGPS. I, huh? <laughs> Face it, McLemming. You're lost. With no food, no shelter, surrounded by dangerous camper eating wild animals. <laughs> they hunger. Yeah. No sweat. We'll be home by lunch. Unless we're lunch. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. No. And no. How about now? Oh, still no. Why don't you ask your tool where we are? I have been. Stupid GPS. <laughs> Help! Help! Hang on, Butt Squat. <gasps> this better count towards my life saving badge. Mommy! Mommy, save me! I'm trying to save you! Mommy! Quit it! Stop pinching! Ow! And that's the last time I'm gonna save you, McGeek! Deal. Ow! What gives, Pinchy McPincherson? I'm nowhere near you, McGeek! Ow! No pinchbacks, loser! Ow! Stop pinching! You stop pinching! You stop pinching! You stop pinching! I'm not! Wait! If I'm not and you're not... Clayfish! Oh! Oh! Get it off! Get it off! I got it! Go! Oh. Oh. Great! Now I'm hungry! Crayfish soup? The snack that snaps back! No thanks! Ugh. But fish and chips would be tasty! Ha! Good thing we've got the IMA tool fishing rod. Ah! How do I look? Dorky, like usual. Now, what's your real fisherman? Yeah! Whoa, it's a big one. Ah! I gotcha. Now, give it a little play. Uh, yeah! <gasps> Catfish! I don't even like fish or cats. <sighs> Ow! I'm hungry. I'm cold. Oh, <laughs> driving me crazy. <laughs> A temper tantrum, really? Oh, that's so preschool butt stink. Come on. Wait a minute. I am a tool. Has a flare app. Check it. Great. Well, if I ever get lost in the bathtub, I'll know who to call. Oh, now it's snowing? Great. Well, good thing I've got old Liddy here. Ugh, this snow smells terrible. Huh, maybe because that's not snow. <laughs> <laughs> so hungry. Oh, me 
to. I could sure use... Oh! A gut buster deluxe burger! Oh. Oh. <laughs> a little dry. Oh. Oh! Nachos fully loaded! Yeah! Oh. 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 How do you ruin nachos? Oh. <gasps> Look! Oh. Everything's better with whipped cream! <laughs> Wait a sec, is that real whipped cream? Give me that! No, it's mine! Hands off, McGrabby! There's no you in whipped cream! That'll hold you, my opposite of friend! Hot Squat, check it out! Crabberries! Crabberries? Real food! Hey, what about me? Don't eat them all! Get your furry butt out of my way, McGee! Wait... Oh, hello! Would you care for some, or perhaps all, of these berries? <laughs> with the branches. Now, come on! No, wait! Ah! Oh, of course, a ridiculously large waterfall. What did I expect? Ah! Back off, Berberine! <laughs> oh, who brings a trash can lid to a claw fight? Ready? Don't fail me now! Ah! Oh. Oh. Come on, Butt Squat! Show it who's boss! Oh, he knows who's boss! Berberine repellent, activate! <laughs> huh? It's all up to Mighty McGee! Uh, running out of bubbles here! In the ultimate stink toss mega matchup! Boy versus Berberine! I don't want to be booed! <laughs> All the berries you want! <laughs> oh, a perfect shot! Yeah! Did you see that? Uh, kind of busy fighting off a of berberine. Now what? <laughs> it's all downhill from here. I'm not going over those falls. No way! Uh-uh! No! <laughs> On second thought, let's jump over the killer falls. Yep. <laughs> Oh, whoa! Ah! It's the end of the line for us, McGee. We tried our best <laughs> and gave it our all. No, we said if I was to die starved and broken on a beach, I hope you're dying alongside me. <laughs> That's sweet. I love you, man. I love you, man. Friends to the end. Friends to the end. <laughs> hey, McGee! You're up next! That was quick. Thought you'd be gone, like, forever. So we were... But how did... The... Uh... I don't care. <sighs> really? Let's keep the oh. I love you man thing between us. And, uh, the pigeon snow incident, too? Oh. Deal. So long, McGoofy. See ya, butt squeal. <laughs> and definitely don't do that.
Take no prisoners! Woohoo! I'm running and shooting! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Too slow! Say hello to my little friend! Heads up, Sawyer! Oops. <laughs> Mindy will clean that up. Creep book? What's that? It's a site I joined to connect with my old school chums. <sighs> Everyone's so successful. Forget them. You just need to spice up your profile. Instead of lives at a camp, go with resides on a palatial estate with own personal chef. Self-made man and handy. Ooh, I had no idea I was so cool. And now for a little digital magic on your photo. And voila! Your new profile is posted. <gasps> My first shriek! It's from Anna Mamba. She says she was in the back of my unnatural science class. Way to go, Sawyer! Thanks, but it's funny. I don't remember her. <coughs> Anna Mamba's coming to visit. <coughs> when she sees me, she'll know I faked my profile. <coughs> Pull yourself together, zombie! It's not fake if we make it true. Zombie, zombie makeover! makeover! <gasps> Undead edition. <laughs> oh, you look so spiffy. Okay, Campbells, say Gorgonzola! Stinky! <laughs> Remember, just be cool and don't lose your head. Don't worry, McGee. I got spares! Hey, McGoof! Check out my new... Oh, wait. Oh, uh, wrong way. Hey, it's R for reverse or for roll. How do you work this? Oh, here we go. Jealous McGoof! Oh. <laughs> Not exactly the welcome I was expecting. <laughs> <gasps> So beautiful. And smells good, too. Scent is so important. Uh, <laughs> thanks. So, uh, after all these years. Don't remember her at all. Why would you? I was so shy and uncomfortable in my own skin. And you were such a dreamboat. <laughs> I couldn't help but have a crush on you. Anamamba, allow me to help you with your bags. Ah! Oh, probably should have turned that off. Sire, why don't you show me around your estate? My estate? Oh, right. <laughs> so, um, here's a rock. <laughs> Welcome to Bistro Lake Bottom, Garkon. Freshly squeezed essence to skunk with extra stink for the love birds. <laughs> <laughs> pungent. S Sawyer, sweet talker. Uh, pungent. Yeah, like your perfume. Your skin is so soft, and and, and your eyes are so flippy. Oh, Sawyer, I could just squeeze you. Who's hungry? Roast vulture with black fly gravy, prepared by Sawyer's personal chef. Mm, sounds scrumptious. Oh, Rosebud, you've really outdone yourself. <laughs> I like a gal with an appetite. I got a buttload of love for Anamamba. Get out of here, bud breath. Not until Anna knows how I feel, McTrue love hater. Squirrel alert, everyone, stay calm. <laughs> well, now you know the truth. I'm not rich or successful. And I don't have a cool guy pompadour. I'm just a run-of-the-mill zombie camp handyman. Sawyer, I think you're swell just the way you are. Really? 
Wow, you really... Oh. <laughs> Take my... <laughs> right away! Oh, I love snuggling by the fire. Oh. Doesn't it warm your heart to see two people so much in love? This is for you, Anna! Seriously, does Butt Squat ever give up? Poor oh dear, just can't believe my heart belongs to another. Excuse me while I let him down easy. A poem from my heart to yours. <clears throat> Remember, it's a first draft, still smoothing out the kinks. Anna Mamba, when I first saw you, my heart went quaky. Every ounce of my love is yours to takey. If you don't love me back, my heart will break. <gasps> On the other hand, uh, I need my, uh, my space. It's not me. It's definitely you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bud Squad. He sounds pretty busted up about Anna. Well, she is pretty special. That's why I'm gonna propose to her today. What? I call bridesmaid. Uh, isn't this a little fast? Uh, yeah, Sawyer. You sure that Anna wants a future with you? Sure, I'm sure. Why else would she ask me to install temperature controls in my cabin? She likes it hot. <laughs> Catch you later. Temperature controls? Yeah. Who needs heating in the summer? Hmm. Time for me to meddle in on Mamba. Meanwhile, I'll get Armand and Rosebud to press pause on this proposal. <gasps> and I'll find a box of tissues. I always cry at weddings. Every time. Huh? Hmm. <gasps> Tongue, eggs, snake, her baby's got a worn Sawyer! Sawyer's going to ask Anna to marry him? <gasps> I hear wedding bells! Well, that's wonderful! You don't understand! She's up! <laughs> <laughs> Anna's a snake lady laying her eggs in Sawyer's cabin. Yeah. Oh, we've got a warm Sawyer! I love eggs! Huh. Eggs. Guys, I'll catch up later. Anna, this ring and this finger belonged to my gram gram. And now they're yours. Will you marry me? Why, of course. Not. <laughs> I remember you. You were in the back of my unnatural science class. You were too cool to even look at me then. But now, you're supper. Ah! Oh, no! We're too late! Wedding's canceled, campers. Uh, Anna and I have some issues to work out. But you're just in time for dessert. Anna Mamba, <sighs> I've got a crush on you! <laughs> Love really does hurt. You won't get away that easy, Sire. Yeah. Anyone lose one of these? Uh-oh. Looks like I'm just in time for lunch. <laughs> oh, and Butt Squat's the appetizer. Well, no accounting for taste. <laughs> My hungry snakelings have found something to nibble on. Yeah, y you know, I don't mean to be rude. I just don't think there's enough of me for everyone. So, should we just order a pizza? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your party pack. I love party packs. <laughs> but you said you liked Sawyer. Sawyer was useful. He installed temperature controls to keep my snakelings toasty. <laughs> Soon, Camp Lake Bottom will be Camp Snake Bottom. Not today, Mamba! <laughs> uh, maybe today. <laughs> Please, Anna. You can crush my heart all you want, but no one messes with my campers! <laughs> Turn up the heat! Cold makes my babies and me so sleepy. Ha, 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 ha. Happy hibernating! Time to ship on the mamba and her slimy serpent kids back home! No way! You're back on Creepbook? Yep, 
Just connected with another old friend. Ah! Humongazor! Ah! Don't remember him at all. Senses have picked something up. Uh, my bad. Bean burrito for lunch. It's just the no talent, Ewe, no talent, gross, no talent neighbors. <laughs> Did I mention they have no talent? They're trying to distract you from all the spooky things here. <laughs> Ow. Sorry, fakers. I have to investigate because I'm Edna Spangler. Good game, guys. Who's up for another round of shadow tags? Huh? <laughs> Out of my way, fangirl. These supernatural readings are off the charts. Sorry, we haven't been introduced. I'm McGee, and you must be lost. Pleased to meet you, Lost. She's not lost. She's Edna Spangler, host of Paranormal Confronter. Yeah. Ooh. I want a theme song, too! Who's the guy who wears a shirt and likes dessert? It's Squirt. Mmm, fruity. Mmm, like it. We can all sing it as soon as Edna confronts the exit. <laughs> Miss Spangler, I've seen every episode of your show and live every day by your motto, cause I ain't afraid of nothing. <sighs> well, maybe you should be afraid of what would happen if Lake Bottom's secret got out. Step right up and see the monsterific weirdo wonders! Freaks like the hairy horror, dead man dancing, little miss runner-up, the dog-eared boy, and the kid who couldn't fly. I'm up and away! Ah! Oh, fine. McGee says you have to go, Miss Spangler. Oh, that's too bad. I could have used an assistant for this episode. <gasps> I'm gonna work on my favorite show! Unbelievable. This is me and Sako's big chance to break into the biz. Hi, how you doing? You too? Oh, come on, McGee, be a sport. <gasps> Fine. But if we're gonna do this, we're gonna need some ground rules. Ha ta ta ta! <laughs> Sorry, campers. Paranormal confronters make me gassy. We should toss her in the swamp. We can't do that to a celebrity. What would the tabloids say? We just have to keep the creepy deekies out of sight while Edna's here. Gretchen has promised to keep her distracted. Right, Gretch? Uh-huh. True, whatever you were saying. Let's roll camera! Ready for this, assistant? <laughs> I mean, action! I'm at Camp Lake Bottom, hunting the paranormal. Have you noticed anything unexplained around here? Nope, nothing unexplained. Not here. No way. Except for why I don't have my own show yet. Ha, ta, ta, ta. Assistant Gretchen, pay no attention to these amateurs' distractions. And the grub! <laughs> she means we can't wait for you to try the grub in the mess hall. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean that we could all use some brain food. It's a grub-filled dinner theater extravaganza! Ha -cha -cha. Is that a spectral amplifier? Hmm. Only the most sensitive equipment for this confronter. Uh, are you sure you need that? The scariest thing here is the food. Shh! I'm picking up something. What you picking up? A pizza? Um, huh! <laughs> I got it! I got it! Oh, watch 
She said... Uh, we gotta go check out the swamp. You don't want to eat before the swamp. It smells like this guy's hand after performance. It's true. We're here at the swamp to see if we can spot something unusual. Wow, just another day at the Totally Not Creepy Slash Haunted Office for you, right? True, there's nothing to see here. With the naked eye. <gasps> A thermal camera? Want to find some spectral hotspots with my camera, Assistant Gretchen? <coughs> I mean... <laughs> Wait, I got something! It's two heads <gasps> with only one heart and a brain between them! It's probably just a, um, uh, uh, um, uh, help me out here, Squared. A double headed dino? A split sided Sasquatch? A tunicorn? Oh, I hope it's a tunicorn! Ugh, <laughs> uh, stupid fog machine, you again! Do you need another take? Yeah. Let's call this one Take Off! <laughs> <laughs> First thing worth filming all day. And here's a perfectly normal run of the mill cemetery. Ah! A zombie! Mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> ah! Zombie! And here are some trees. That's it. Trees. Eek! A marshman! <laughs> Sorry, allergies. <gasps> oh, deception and lies. That's it. I've had enough. Wait, but you can't go yet. Gretchen, what is with you? Remember who your pals are. Oh, you're right. I could be shooting a snake-tongued hydra at the Institute of Ectoplasmic Biopathy, but no. Maybe if you hurry, you'll still catch the three-headed goreflack. Eek! A witch! <laughs> <laughs> Another fraud in freak's clothing. And I think I was gonna make you my co-host. <gasps> no! You can't leave! There's so much to see here! Creepies, crawlies, crazies! Oh, uh, yeah. I've met Susie and Butt Squat. Is it time for my close-up? You want a close-up? Say cheese! Cheese! My eyes! My striking, but currently blinded eyes! Fish. Oops. <laughs> this is awkward. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. Lake Bottom secrets are about to go nationwide. Oh, no. What have I done? Paranormal confrontation! Edna Spangler here at Camp Lake Bottom. I've uncovered undeniable paranormal proof. This is all my fault. No, it isn't. <gasps> Yes, it is. You can still make it right, Gretch. We just can't let that camera leave Lake Bottom. And I think I have a plan. Woohoo! Hope I can make it for my deadline to get this on the air. We want to be on the show. We'll spill everything. Yeah, everything. This is my biggest story. I don't need your help. Tip <laughs> <laughs> kids thinking they could help Edna Spangler. Huh? Ah! Is it safe to stay in here? Oh, you can stay for dinner. Yeah, but if you're in the kitchen, you're going to be dinner. Ow! They are getting away. Don't bet on it. <laughs> Back to the land of hygiene and salon quality hair products. Oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. and I still have the biggest expose of my ca career. <laughs> so we're gonna be on TV? Sure. This is Gretchen reporting from Camp Sunny Smiles for. Uh, 
Oh, you should be. I've got the proof. I can't wait to expose your horrifying camp for what it really is. And we can't wait to expose you for what you really are. And this Fangler is a screaming scaredy cat! Screaming scaredy cat! No! But, but I'll be ruined! Ugh. You win. What about my screen time? Oh, you'll still get it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, Gretch. You feeling sorry your co-host gig didn't work out? Nah. Why hunt the paranormal when you can hang with it every day? But I am sorry Squirt didn't get his big break. It's okay. Does I'll lead a career in shadow puppetry! Ha ta ta! Work, Gretchen. What do you call it? Still life with tentacles. <laughs> uh, that's still life, Slimy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, unique use of abstract expressionist techniques, Squirt. Huh? I've been upside down for an hour and my brain feels all squishy like oat squeal. Oh. Carry on then. That cubist masterwork, McGee. Just working with what I got. Ah, oh, this all takes me back to my art school days with my roommate, Vincent. Vincent was obsessed with realism and bringing his art to life. So much passion for his quest for realism. So much potential. And then one day, he vanished. The chump still owes me 20 bucks. Uh, hello? Get on with it, Sasquatch. I've got a lasagna in the oven. Oh, sorry, uh. Oh, you want to make some art? I wish I could, camper, but I'm no artist. Are you kidding? That topiary is creeptastic. Yeah, uh, but why did you make him standing on his head like that? <laughs> Thanks, but I'll stick to trimming hedges. <laughs> Later, campers. That zombie reeks of creative potential. We gotta help him seize his inner artiste! I'm up! <laughs> right after Squirt's nap. Oh, Armand's got every art supply on the planet. Clay, crayons... And macaroni! Mmm! <laughs> Need salt... and glitter! Mmm! Mmm, what do we have here? Ah, bingo! Nice! Yup, that should help bring out the artist and Sawyer. Hey, Sawyer! Ready for a brush with greatness? Wowzers! A real artist brush for me? Yes, it's the perfect tool to unleash your creative genius. Campers, I told you. I'm not really the artistic type. Come on, Sawyer, give it a try at least. Yeah, let it run wild and free, like a tuna corn. <laughs> Ooh, it's tingly. <laughs> I'm alive. Alive! Well, technically, it's undead, isn't it? Look at the creativity flow. Whoa! Whoa! Gangway! I have to check the slugs on ya! <laughs> Ooh, so lifelike. <laughs> you can almost hear the slugs squealing. Which reminds me. <laughs> This could go tiresome. Come on, let's try the door. Have some macaroni. The glitter helps with the spinning. Trust me. I, Vincent, have returned to create my realist masterpiece. But this is horrible, no? It is not real. Somewhere in this camp, I shall find my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
created such breathtaking dining beauty? These brushstrokes, why do they seem to mock me? Uh, it's like we're really out boating, but without the puking. No, it's not really the boating. It isn't really anything! I cannot feel the fate of the water! No, 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 no! Life of an artistic genius. With an artistic temper to match. That boat ride was excellent! I had no idea that Sawyer was so brilliant. The aggressive brushstrokes underline a seething conflict between water and wood. Ow! Along with a splinter. <sighs> it almost makes you want to swim. Almost? Almost is no good! It must be real! Like the sun. Like the water. Like squirts, fishy bread. <laughs> I had lunch with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> it will convince no one. Watch out! Hot is coming too. Oh. <laughs> Got me again. See, Sawyer? Rosebud tried to swim. <laughs> what? Do I have slug sauce on my face? Mademoiselle, I'm inspired by you. The masterful artwork, the incredible tantrums, the way with the ladies, so unlike Sawyer. And that brush, strangely familiar. Guys, is it just me or has Sawyer kind of snapped? No, it's all part of the artist's journey. It's true. There was an artist who lived in my neighborhood and he had a unicycle and he rode that thing all over the place. Rosebud, salsa hour is from five to six. But I never say no to a good rumba. Da, 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 da. Wow, you're surprisingly light on your feet. Uh, that isn't Rosebud. It's a masterful painting. It is not masterful. It is not real. Can I smell her stinky pits? No. It's the hair growing on her chin. No. You said I smelled like the fresh compost in the springtime. Ah, you know nothing. Oh, why can I not make it live? Why can I not make the art real? Because it's not real! It's paint! Anyone needs me, I'll be in the kitchen working on a slug zonia. <gasps> that is it! All this time, I've been trying to bring my art to life when all along I should have been putting the life into my art! Oh, petal. Sweet rose cheeks. I need you for my final master will. <laughs> Toya, I told you I. Ah! Rosebud! Sawyer? I wonder where they all could be. Huh? No one's here. Huh? Ew! Guys, I think we just found Rosebud. <laughs> My art is alive. Would you not say it breathes? With the added bonus of kicking and screaming. <laughs> oh, easy there, Sawyer. Your realism obsession has gone too far. Oh, contraire. It has not gone far enough. <laughs> you campers will complete my realism masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That brush! That brush! Where's that brush? Think, Armand. Think! <laughs> hey! You got paint on my macaroni, mister! <laughs> Shake it off, Sawyer! <laughs> Yo, artiste! Ready to hang up your smock? Never! Uh-oh! Take cover! Fire! You've lost your butt! 
Sawyer is no more. My name is... Vincent van Gogh the Breastpink! Finally, you recognize your old school charm. So I'm right. You've possessed my friend. A first-rate deduction by a second-rate artist. Well, second-rate? That, sir, is a matter of opinion. <laughs> Why do you hide? You could be part of my magnifique mural. It will be formidable. Hmm. Hey, Vinny! Is formidable French for boar? This art is kind of a yawn, no? Enough! Time to become out! Behold the macaroni rag! <laughs> Always did underestimate macaroni as a viable form of art. Oh, yeah, you! No! Looking good. Now that's what I call putting yourself into your art. Oh, it is true. I am in the art. In the art is me. My real life masterpiece is complete. Oh. I can finally rest. You won't be needing this anymore. Hey, campers. What I miss? Whoa. That ceiling sure could use a paint job. Whoa! <laughs> so could the floor. Astounding. What a talent. What are you going to call it? I call it Memories of Mess Hall in Mold. Rosebud is delirious. She thinks she's a bird. Stay away from my nest. Thanks. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Okay, easy now, Rosebird. Just relax. My big boy undies just got bigger. Nanny nom noms. Nanny nom noms. Uh, what's nanny nom noms? Some kind of weird cookie? Believe it or not, Rosebud was once a child, and nom noms was her nanny. Well, if Rosebud wants her nom noms, then nom noms is what she'll get. Sawyer, take this down. Dear Nanny Num Nums, Rosebud needs you. We request the honor of your presence. Uh, salutations. Miss you. Warm hugs, etc., etc. Monster mail right on time. Hey! Well, I hope I put enough postage on that. Same minute service. Have no fear, my dreary dears. Nanny Num Nums is now here. Nanny Num Nums. <laughs> Nanny! <laughs> Your nose is stuffed. Your face is red. Time for you to go to bed. Whoa, she doesn't mess around. I'll help, Rosebud. This is true. But there is something that you must do. Sure thing. Name it. You can join my cleaning crew. Aww. Come now, children, don't be sad. This kind of cleaning will make you glad. <laughs> it is true. I am glad. Dust and dirt will get to Nanny, so clean out every nook and cranny. Bye-bye, dust. Hello, fun. A little bit more and you're almost done. Hello, camper. Meow. 
Looking good? Although a little dark. Is there a reverse on this thing? No, 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 not reverse. Help me, children, if you care. Natty Num Num needs some air. Are you all right? Oh, that's better. My bit is done. Let's all go and have some fun. <laughs> Come on, Nanny. This is fun. Nanny's too tired to tell the truth. This kind of play is for you youth. Tell Rosebud, it'll cheer her up. Uh, uh, Rosebud is not to be disturbed, remember? Now, Betty time! But we're not remotely to. Uh... Turn out the lights and close your eyes. You'll wake to find a big surprise. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Children, oh, so much to do. Come on now, Nanny's ahead of you. I'd say this wall needs an elevator. Oh. Yeah, going down. Come on, Squirt. Ow, my back. Where's your spring? Ow, my knee. I thought you liked this kind of thing. Ow, my ankle. Ow, my head. Come on now, young McGee. Let's see if you can keep up with me. McAwesome is raring to ride. Yeah. Okay, yeah, got it now. <laughs> I got it. McAwesome needs a McMedic. Oh, I'm glad we're taking a break to check in on Rosebud. <laughs> hey, what gives? Hey, <laughs> that's some of your host dies. I got this, guys. Hi! Ow! Hi! Ow! <laughs> Squirt, we need a dirt version. <laughs> Squirt! Filthy! <laughs> hey, Rosebud. How are you feeling? Ah! Oh, I mean, looking good. Looking good. Campers, <laughs> we are in terrible danger. Nanny Num Nums is not what she appears to be. She did this to me. Nanny was the first monster I ever defeated. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> a, 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 a miserable child! Whenever I am sick, I flash back to that day. Nanny must be stopped or she'll suck the life from us all. Nanny's coming! Ah! Hide! <laughs> Don't come out no matter what! Miss me? <laughs> Oh, your camp is so full of delicious life, Rosebud. And I want it all! Oh. Rosebud! What is this? Two meddling kids, I spy? <gasps> One more breath, and you both shall give me your youth! <laughs> Your youth is invigorating, and it's done wonders for my figure. I figure we gotta stop her. But how? I feel like dessert. Oh, squirt. <laughs> Scratch. We need another dirt version. Gotcha. Ah, I'm too young to be old. On the other hand, I feel so distinguished. Like a bald eagle. Oh, 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 you, uh, look at what you've done! Nanny's filthy! <laughs> Save yourselves, campers! No way! You're coming with us! Alan Kurt! Oh, oh, you, uh, uh. Armand! Sawyer! Nanny Num Nums is evil! Fred! Speak up, young ones! 
I'll keep it down while you're at it. Get out of keep her out. Nap time. How can you sleep at a time like... <laughs> Locking the door won't do you any good. You forgot the hole inside the roof. No one keeps Nanny out, especially not decrepit old bottom hobblers. Ah, age is just a number, as in five against... <coughs> uh, three against one. So what are you gonna do? Oh, you just had to ask. Okay, admittedly unexpected, but we can deal. Bottom dwellers are tired! <laughs> about the dust. Good to be young and undead again. I've never felt Sasquatchier. Nanny Num Nums, you are so fired! <laughs> Welcome to How Not to Maintain a Lawnmower. Lesson number one. Never fill your lawnmower with jet fuel. <laughs> Lesson number two. Never start your mower with your teeth. That leads us to lesson three. Never clean your mower with your tongue. With your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I blew all my own stunts. <sighs> Whoa! I did not see that coming. Squirt, you've seen this 900 times. The classics never get old. Be sure to catch my next film, How Not to Hand Feed Piranhas. Oh, I give it two thumbs down. And I wish I had more thumbs. For the love of cinema! Please, please show us the piranha film next time. I'd love to, but I would have run out of hands before I finished it. If only I could show my magnum opus. No way. Armand, you made a movie? Correction. A masterpiece. But I shan't bore you with the details. As long as there's no lawnmower. Don't listen to the haters, Petunia. There's a girl. It was the tale of a brilliant but ill-fated Sasquatch scientist turned radioactive in a freak lab accident. I called it the Abominable Doctor Sasquatch. <laughs> An ill-fated radioactive Sasquatch freak scientist doctor? Hmm, now that's a movie! Please show it! Please, 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 please! Alas, it was shredded by my resentful crew. 
Those wretches envied my boundless talent. <laughs> Come on. For the sake of Lake Bottom movie night, the abominable Dr. Sasquatch shall rise again. I'm in. <laughs> Two thumbs up. The critics love me already. Places, people! Sound, special effects and props. Okay. Wardrobe! Puzzle, baby! Director and star on set. We're ready for you, Mr. Director. We'll see about that. Roll camera and action! <laughs> they called me mad, but they will rue the day they laughed at Dr. Sasquatch! <laughs> He's changing me! No! Master! I am struck down by your radioactive touch! Oh, oh. oh, Fortune! Why have you cursed me to become an atomic monster? And cut. Got it! <laughs> he just wanted revenge on his enemies. <laughs> Rosebud, darling, you were... Uh... Yes, Mr. Director. Dreadful. McGee, you didn't shoot my good side. You call this radioactive ooze. I've said it a thousand times. No gooberry jam on my set. <laughs> wow. Melting's a new one for me. I can't work with these amateurs. Yeah, we're the amateurs. No! Atomic Monster! You know what? You're right, Armand. This movie's got to be so epic, audiences will snort out of their eyeballs. I expect no less. If you need me, I'll be in my dressing room getting my ego massaged and manicured. What? It slipped. You call this a swamp? Where are the pus geysers, the mucus moles? Why am I the only one committed to quality on this production? That's it. I'm walking. Yeah, me too. I love walking. Guys, guys, Armand is a creative genius. He can't help being all creative geniusy. But if we help make this film, his talent will be set free, and we'll get to watch a new movie without lawnmowers in it. It's a win-win. Ah, uh, I hate it when he makes sense. Well, what do you think? Creepy, dank, and slimy. It's got it all. Hmm. It does have a certain gloom. And I suppose this egg could be the ancient orb that cures Dr. Squatch. You know, it's perfect! All right, people. Magic time! Yes. My genius has finally inspired you people to jump off the amateur train. Oh, I'm inspired, all right. I got your gooberry right here. Enough! Roll camera! And action! Melt! <laughs> Melt! <laughs> gooberry again. Cut! You have ruined my chance at a Best Bad Scientist Actor nomination. Your cheap special effects are fantastic. Now that's what I call movie magic. But I didn't make You heard the Sasquatch. Roll camera. What a strange twist of fate to be this high. Is it a sign from the heavens? Would this to be my redemption? No. Whoa, is there a draft in here? No great ancient orb. Cure me with your mystical powers. Only you can remove my radioactive curse. <laughs> now this is a movie and not a lawnmower in sight. Ah, uh, McGee, uh, that thing is real. I know, it's your realest special effect yet. Break time, union rules. Um, I knew that. It was brilliant. Let's go again. Reset the cave. Seriously, Armand? I didn't do that. Yes, Gretchen. I'm well aware you couldn't have done it without my genius inspiring you. Now, let's take it from the top. Ah! Ancient orb, why do you pursue me so? 
Seriously, I want to know from one monster to another. <laughs> That's not the answer I expected. Mickey, listen. That eye thingy is really trying to kill us. Yeah, Gretch, I get it. It's right here on page 10 of the script. When you said really trying to kill us, you meant really trying to kill us. As horrified as I am, I still think if this film sees movie night, it's worth getting a little bit singed. Ah! Yeah! Oh, oh, what a pro! Armand, the camera loves you as much as that I hates you. Gretchen, perhaps tone down the special effects. Okay, that eye is no special effect. It's real! Ah! No, that's not in the script. That's what I've been trying to tell you. We're improvising. Roll with it. Ancient Orb, are you here to save me and destroy me all in the same day? No! That does it. This is me. Watching you. Watch me take you down. Aye. Cut. Cut. Cut, people. Time to cut. No, 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 no. We can't cut now, Armand. Think of the movie. The Adoration. All right, huddle up, guys. I have a plan. Just make a few changes to the ending, and I... Whatever you're going to do, do it! I'm up to my eyeballs and eyeball over here! Okay, okay, you got it, Rosebud! Shoo the mower! And what was lesson one, Sawyer? Never fill your lawnmower with jet fuel. Perfection! Armand, Rosebud, go before it recharges! Time to close this eye for good! See ya! Get up! Our villain struggles to focus, confused. Kill the gooberry! Gooberry is in the eye of the beholder! Ooh, plot twist! <laughs> Hit it, squirt! Yoo-hoo, evil eye! Over here! Cut! Nice work, everybody! This moment of glory belongs to my selfless crew. Because of you, the abominable Dr. Sasquatch will be the greatest movie ever to grace the silver screen. <laughs> what? I said. And that's a wrap. It most certainly is. <laughs> My masterwork <laughs> ruined. Oh, I wish we were filming this. They're my most realistic tears yet. <laughs> Lesson number one. Never fill a lawnmower with jet fuel. Lesson number two. Shh, come on. Let's get out of here while it's still asleep. Oh, come on, no, I'll never know how it ends. Sorry about your movie, Armand. No, oh, who cares about some silly movie? It's nothing compared to my true destiny. Completing my unfinished symphony, a Sasquatch Rhapsody in Fur Minor. <laughs> Super crazy strong. <laughs> Whoa, you are kidding! <sighs> the Sasquatch's armpit musk is his pride and joy. Only the squatchiest Sasquatch can make a rabid skunk weep in agony at 20 paces. I can't take it! I can't take it! Namaste! Oh, no, don't go, Armand! You gotta show us more amazed tastic Sasquatch stuff! Oh, rip my arm off! It's okay, I have another one! Some feats of Sasquatchness have to remain secret, campers. If you knew how much human skull crushing power we Sasquatches had, you'd be in big trouble. Well, namaste! <laughs> Ah, 
Uh, uh, pretend you didn't see that. So, here's the plan. We portal to a Sasquatch dimension to meet cool Sasquatches who aren't afraid to show off real skull-crushing power. Okay, we're about to enter the portal. Please keep arms and legs out of the interdimensional aisle. Portal bar oh, bed. Just get on with it already. Right. Everyone think Sasquatch. <laughs> Less crushed skulls than I thought. Hey, are you guys sure you all thought Sasquatch? Uh, McGee, is it too late to think nice Sasquatch? <laughs> I. Ow! Easy with the giant toothpicks. Ugh. Humans. I thought we got rid of all those. <laughs> Sunny smiles? No! Oh, you dirty Sasquatches! You blew it up before I could? Ow! Silence! The king approaches. Uh... Yes, it's me, your beloved King Armand. Hey, Armand! Ow! Ow! Would you stop that? We know him! You look like my old campers. Sometimes I wish I never ate them. That McGee stew gave me terrible gas pain. <laughs> I forgot how hilariously terrified you humans could be. In memory of my long digested campers, I, King Armand, hereby decree that these human lookalikes be spared. <laughs> Not eat humans? The king's getting soft. Gods, take my new human slaves to my throne room. Ooh, throne room. Sounds classy. Lonely Mermaid, Lake Bottom Dimension. Here comes our... No, no, no. See, oh. I don't want to scrub out Sasquatch litter boxes forever. <gasps> Was that McGee? What's he doing in the pot? Sasquatch litter boxes? You know, as fabulous as that sounds, something isn't right here. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, I... Oh, please, forgive me, King Armand. Ooh, and you brought chocolates. You know, those weren't exactly for you. I... All hail, King Armand. Hey! King Armand. But now this sounds like an interesting dimension. And then the Sasquatch says, Hey, that's not a Sasquatch. That's my wife. Oh, come on. Hey! Ooh! Tough crowd. Aw, uh, don't complain. I'm on Squatch for detangling duty next. Guys, it's not that bad. <laughs> Finally, a place where my foot rubbing skills are appreciated. <laughs> Careful, I tickle easily. What happened to you, Kingy? The Armand I know is a fun loving, happy go lucky. <laughs> I, too, remember how I acted before defeating you humans. <laughs> what a ninny. I was... <laughs> what does a king have to do for more peeled figs? <laughs> oh, now I get the whole King Armand thing. Hmm, interdimensional portal travel is so confusing. Armand, you came to save us! All right, Armand! Ouch! I knew I forgot something. The kids are coming with me. Ah, you think you, uh, me, can waltz in from another dimension and start giving orders? Although I love what you've done with your fur. Oh, you. I mean, me. <laughs> gotcha. Now, I'll let you go if you let us go back to Lake Bottom. What kind of pathetic Sasquatch is a servant to humans? I'm more Sasquatch than you could ever Sasquatch. Then prove it! If I win, I take the campers home. When I win, the humans will remain slaves forever! And you will be ritualistically shame-shaved. Challenge accepted. To determine who is top Squatch, we will begin the Sasquatch Skills of... Yay, King Armand! 
<laughs> I am a kingly squatch. Oh, so very manly squatch. No other squatch compares. Look at my lovely hair. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. I rule this land. Yay, King Armand! That's king! Oh. I am a squatch, a lovely squatch. My fur is grand and my feet are large. Me, 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 I, me, me, me. Everyone must adore <laughs> Ooh. Hands off the fine art! Whoa, such realism! Huh? Ah! Daring, provocative, messy, bravo! And that's halftime! We Sasquatches love our halftime shows, so this had better be good. Uh, glad to be here! <laughs> Can anybody tell me, uh, what is the deal with yetis, huh? I mean, yetis eat humans like this. <laughs> but Sasquatches eat humans like this. <laughs> Could you please pass the Dijon? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because it's true! <laughs> Still more Sasquatch than you. Ditto! But reversed. Squirt, you sure this will work? Trust me, if there's one thing I know, it's foot rubbing. Here are the standings of the Royal Sasquatch Skill Zone. King Armand, one! Inferior Armand, one. And now, for our final winner-take-all event, the Moonwalk Race. Do your stuff! <laughs> I have been outsquatched. Other dimension Armand and his pet humans may leave this dimension in safe. Ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Thank you, King Armand. You're a Sasquatch among Sasquatches. Come on, campers. Let's go home. Here you go. I also do weddings and squatch mitzvahs. All right, call me, text, whatever. <laughs> Sasquatch take backsies! Get them! Get them all! Hey, what's the deal? Armand was the squatchiest squatch, fair and square. That's it? The squatchiest Armand? Show these clowns what true squatchiness really smells like. <laughs> no fair. I smell too. Come on, smell me! Never smelled such pungent musk before. You are truly the Sasquatch King. All hail Armand! I'll pass, guys. I'm no king. I'm just a Sasquatch who hasn't developed a taste for humans. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> now we can go.
Sawyer Mist, Butt Squad, we challenge you to the Lake Bottom Classic. What happens if I don't accept the challenge, huh? Ah, I humbly accept the challenge. <sighs> Wait, let me be on your team. I'm no bottom smeller. I'm a sunny smiler. <laughs> Ew, bottom smeller stank. I knew she still had way too much Sunny Smiler in her. Oh! Wait, Rich! She does have the lake bottom stick! That means Sash is one of us? Even if she doesn't know it yet! And I'm not leaving one of us behind! All right. But she better prove she's a real bottom dweller. I can try. Well, it's a start. Are you sure about this, McGee? Remember what Sawyer said, Gretch? The classic is all about pure late bottom skills. We got this. And that's one. Let the late bottom classic begin. Okay. True bottom dweller heart is the key. Of five events, the winner needs three. Oh, man, what's with the rhymes? Event one. Oldest grave must be found, then race to finish before tagged from underground. Cretch, don't you think that Sasha would be better at this event? Seems like she'd flee from graveyard maggots with way more terror than you. I don't trust her, Mickey. Besides, she's still trying to make amends for her anti-lake bottom treachery. To be a real bottom dweller, you have to help with the harvest. Now fetch! <laughs> Nice work. These are good and juicy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, Gretch, that's not the oldest grave. That one is! Oh, yeah! Oh, don't thumbs up me. Thumbs up Ulysses H. Hemroiders. <laughs> Never say their names! So that's what they meant by getting tagged! You have to eat my cooking. Please, no, 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 please, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, we win! Hey, bottom smellers! Lose your camp forever much? <laughs> oh, on to the next event! <laughs> event the second! Slide on a wave of lake bottom goo! First to Lake Icky Gloomy will certainly do. That stank would make most campers pass out. I've totally got this. With my sinus condition, I can't smell a thing. No, no! I need more thrust! Come on, Portnoy! Think like a bottom dweller at... Win ever. The crown will be mine! Uh uh, you already had a turn. It says right here only one event per bottom smeller. <laughs> no way! You are not doing this event. It's Taco's big chance. Hey, how you doing? You are doing this event. There, there, buddy. You'll get your chance one day. Come on, then, ex Sunny Smiler. Let's see how spectacular you are. At least I have my Diva Delectable. Oh, Sasha! Think like a bottom dweller! Rising Sun Crow snatches the fly. Wow! My slow motion kung fu worked. All right, Sasha! So, you want to play rough, huh? Taken down by my own hairspray. That is so the opposite of spectacular. We totes win! I'm sorry, Gretch. I I tried to think like a real bottom dweller. Decrowning Susie is nearly impossible. Trust me. I know. And that's how you win a Lake Bottom Classic eating contest. The final event. The quest is sure to be a drag if he returns without the flag. Blah, blah, don't get lost in the portal dimension. Whatever, whatever, pay attention. Let me see that. Yeah, it's a game of capture the flag. 
Says here I have to capture the Sunny Smiles flag, and Butts Not has to capture the Lake Bottom flag. All right, so we portal. The first one back here with the flag wins it all, McBottom Smeller. <laughs> it all comes down to this, our last chance. You can do this, McGee. We believe in you. It's all on you, McGee. Now win the Lake Bottom Classic so we can get Sawyer and our cat back. No pressure. Okay, focus, McGee. I won't be beaten by Butt Squat. <laughs> Squad Bottom McGee. I, I hope you enjoy, enjoy your, your stay. <laughs> hey, quit, quit copying me. me. I said quit copying me. Ah! I'm stuck in a butt squad bottom. Wow, that sounds bad in more ways than one. A butt squad filled dimension? Sounds perfect. Oh no. McGee must have thought about butt squad before going into the portal. We gotta help him. Whoa! Oh. Too bad McGee will waste his time in there. Because I already have the Lake Bottom flag from this dimension. So, I guess the Lake Bottom Classic is officially done so. Aww. Sorry, Butt Squat. The Camp Lake Bottom Classic is still on. <laughs> Spares. <laughs> Guys, we're here to rescue you uh, and your poor wedgie butt. <laughs> oh, oh, someone must have dropped a butt quarter. Oh, my. Lucky me. Get him with extreme wedges. <laughs> no, it can't feel a thing. You see, all those many, many years of being wedgy build up an immunity in my, uh, uh underwear area. Total underwear immunity. Looks like the waistbands have turned, butt squats. Wedgy revenge! <laughs> We're bottom dwellers are always prepared. How'd you override my robot wedgie protocol? I had military satellites for fun. No, you don't have to do this. We can make you a sunny smiler queen in our dimension. You got a deal. <gasps> Double pinky swear. <gasps> <gasps> you are a true bottom dweller. No, no, please. <sighs> oh, man. <gasps> Uh, <laughs> now let's get that Sunny Smiles flag and get back our lake bottom. But I don't want to go into the creepy dimension thingy to get the flag. Uh. <laughs> we captured the flag first. Never! <laughs> you did it! You did it! <laughs> Sawyer, you're back! <laughs> Lake Bottom is so ours again! Ah, dang it. Aw, oh, that's what I was gonna say. I'm out of this stinky camp. Smell you later, you bunch of smelly bottom dweller smellers. Oh. What a summer. I'm gonna miss you guys. And I was just starting to get used to the stink. Wow. I guess camp is really over. I guess I should tell you, you know, you guys are like my best friends. And I'll miss you, you know. I mean, it won't be that long, right? We'll be back here again. We'll do it again. Fare ye well, campers. I'm going to miss this place. Yeah, except for maybe all the rashes and bee stings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss you all so much. <laughs> so awkward. I, I really don't, I don't even know what to say. How, what do we say to each other? <laughs> wow, and I thought I was sappy. I'm not crying, I just have allergies. Mickey, come get me when Mom comes. Susie, out! Um, she terrifies me. <laughs> Please don't make me go home alone with her.
It's back. Summerween, the monster's favorite camp activity. Oh, no, a ghost. I'm scared. I hope so very much I do not wet my pants. Well, at, at least we got candy. Don't say candy. Did someone say candy? Less dangerous than the leech licorice. You'd better get started on your canoe trip, campers. Yeah, and don't worry, nothing terrifying will be waiting for you when you get back. <laughs> Guys, we know you're making us a haunted house. We know it's not gonna be scary. We know Sawyer's gonna use way too much glue. Hmm. A lot you know, McGee. These are staples. Okay, you got us. We are building you campers a haunted house, but this year we got some scary help. Gluteus Crouch, scare consultant. Does haunted bar mitzvahs and possessed weddings. A scare consultant? La aim. Huh, maybe he has some potential. I. <clears throat> Good luck, guys. Have a safe trip. Be back once the moon is up. Oh, totally. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Three actual monsters would be so bad at Summerween. <laughs> I mean, zero scare factor. Ah! Squirt, look out! Oh, hey, Leggy. I got you those spare flies you asked for. <coughs> These are monsters that know vampires. Why can't they invite them for Summerween? Then maybe we'd truly be scared for once. <sighs> Guys, you think this? Scare consultant will actually make this Summerween haunted house scary. <laughs> Not likely, Gretch. It takes a lot to scare us. Ugh. But then again, <laughs> it's about time to head back anyway. <laughs> okay, guys. Now prepare your pretend horrified faces. Wow, not bad. <gasps> Step right up to the House of Horrors! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The scare consultant is totally legit! Enter! And have a wonderfully horrifying time! Woohoo! Yes! Oh. Wait, how do we get in? <laughs> wow! If I didn't know this was going to be an interactive ride, I'd have worn my hip waders! Because <laughs> they're hip. Welcome! to the Gluteus Couch House of Horrors. Oh, I get it. The old haunted mansion bit. And you must be one of the ghostly servants. Okay. Watch your step, kidlets. It's dark and dangerous. No worries. I always carry a flashlight. No! Whatever you do, don't turn it on! Attention! Altering the House of Horrors lighting is strictly forbidden. Sorry. Could you just... You have to get out. Listen to me. Get out while you still can. <laughs> wow, Rosebud. You're getting good at this. Okay, go on. Act all scared again. No, no, no. It's not funny. Attention! Activating emergency interaction recall due to unscripted lines. <laughs> A wonderfully horrifying day. Oh. Whoa, this consultant is a total perfectionist. Uh, yeah, this is creepy. Come on, let's see what's next. You think there's an elevator in this place? Welcome to the next level. Going up. <laughs> this is still the best summer we've haunted house ever. <laughs> I was starting to get so lonely. Now we can all hang out here forever. <laughs> no thanks! Got a jet! <laughs> Step right up and feast your eyes on the horrifying bus monster. Campers, get me out! I know I don't have to tell you this, but pus tastes simply terrible! We'll get you out! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. That's a no-no, kids! Touching the exhibits is strictly forbidden! Uh-oh. Going down! Ah! Ah! Anyone else 
think that was way grosser than usual? Campers, there you are. This isn't the haunted house we wanted to make. It's that horrible consultant we'd hired. He's evil. You have to get us out. <laughs> well, finish what you were saying, Sawyer. We have to get you what? <laughs> Life jackets? <laughs> I feel safer already. Hey, this is a nice change of pace. You know, from all the stank and horror. <laughs> Help! Oh, hey, Miguel, what's up? We're captured in House of Horrors. Miguel! It got us! I don't feel safe anymore! Get fishy smelling kids of Bottom Lake survive? <gasps> Find out at the Gluteus Ground House of Horrors! We gotta help them! Come on, guys! Get out of there! No! Save yourself! Or you'll be his next horror attraction! Attention! You were warned! Touching the monster exhibits is strictly forbidden! <laughs> I can use a number one break. These tracks look so familiar. Wonder if they have something to do with... Who in their right mind would use money as paper towels? Only someone rich enough to wipe his hands on money could afford to build all this. But who's that rich? Hmm. You know, it feels like we're missing something. Something important. Uh... Guys, little help here! Hey, I, you may not have hands, but you should still soap up! Attraction down! Gretchen, we gotta get out of here! <laughs> nice one, Gretch! <laughs> that consultant won't find us in here! <laughs> one question. What's that noise? Uh-oh.
nothing's as relaxing as watching deadly explosions of fire. Ah. Oh, 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 this is it. Here comes the boom boom. Hold on to all your butts. Already on it. Yeah. Let's get this party erupted. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Oh, man. Total love a letdown. Never underestimate Mount Fit to Boom. <laughs> Intense? Huh? Wow! The Gretcherson! You had me at binoculars. Oh, that, that line! I, I know that line! Yes! I mean, it's just our favorite movie of all time! <laughs> when when crime, crime is too far away to see, it's, it's time, time to, to get, get some binoculars! binoculars. Uh, Will you look at that, sweetheart? It seems as if we've got some fans. Only your biggest fans? You're our favorite action movie star couple! Huh. I'm the Gritchison's biggest fan. I even have a tattoo. It's on my body. Stay out of their sight, Armand. We don't want to scare the humans. Oh, please. What's so frightening about us? Right. Not that we're complaining, but why are you guys visiting Camp Lake Bottom anyway? To see our precious daughter, of course, Gretchy Kim. Gretchy Kim? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. And then there's this. I sleep there. Those are Squirt McGee's bunks. That's a shrunken head. Spider eggs, the usual. Interesting. It smells like the set of Invasion of the Mold Men from Mars. What? Welcome to Lake Bottom Macaroni Lays, our tradition. Yeah? Since when? Well, let's see. Since super awesome movie stars started coming to our camp, so today? Oh. Mickey, could you give it a rest? Oh, don't worry. We're used to it, dear. Make sure you get my good side. Where is that music coming from? We had sound systems added to our formal way. It just made sense. Okay, Gretch, what is the deal here? You are embarrassing us in front of your parents. Oh, and speaking of that, why didn't you tell us? Oh, come on, Gretch. Me and Squirt live for your parents' movies. Like Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 4? Or Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5, the re-sharkening? Come on. Both classics in the giant shark versus human genre. Sorry, personally, I can't stand all that Hollywood nonsense. Whoa, nonsense? What are you saying? <laughs> and that's what you get for invading the White House. Ah, oh, now that brings back memories. Did you know that shark had a black belt and Taekwondo dorsal fin? Dad, Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5 was just a movie. Can't we all talk about real people stuff? For once. Real people stuff? Gretch, we talked about this. Stop giving your father frown lines. If I didn't know you better, I think you didn't want a visit from your action stars. Uh, you mean parents? No, that's exactly what I said. Oh, happens every time. Yeah. <sighs> Did someone call for parent participation? Stand up straight, dear. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Out pageanted by my own folks. Aw, oh, there, there, Gretch. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That was just like spin kick and spin kick party six, Mrs. G. My turn! <laughs> Best spin kick inflicted in turtle rupture ever. That's it. I am so out of here. <gasps> oh, what's with Gretchikins now? <coughs> hey, this is just like the set of Killer Cough Cloud Five. <coughs> <laughs> Gretchy Wetchy, is that you? <coughs> Can I get an autograph? A lock of hair, an extra kidney, perhaps anything? I'm your biggest fan! Okay, 
This is gonna be just like the final scene in Spin Kick Party 6. And, oh, and don't be afraid to go for the Gritcherson Eyeball Crush. You got it! And watch out for the Gritcherson Larynx Twist, too! Guys, stop! Have you seen Armand? You know how fan crazy Armand is. I hope he isn't chasing after the Gritcher's pants. Oh, don't worry. The Gritchersons can totally handle one crazy fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> Gretchen's folks are running scared. Straight for Mount Fit to Blow. And it's Fit to Blow. Oh, now I get it. Oh, the Gritchersons? Scared? That's impossible. They, they played every kind of hero that's ever existed. That's it. Squirt, they must be researching roles for a movie. Come on, remember how scared they pretended to be in Giant Gator 7? <laughs> You've been accessorized. <laughs> Come on, Squirt! Those two acting geniuses are gritchersoning into the hilt, and we're missing it! Mom? Dad? Here we go again. Huh? Oh, see? I told you the Gritchersons could handle fanboy Armand. Uh-huh. Looks like a textbook Gritcherson larynx twist to me. Actually, I slipped in a puddle of the Gritchersons' fear snot as they were desperately running away. <gasps> and all I wanted was a few pics of them for my celebrity scrapbook. According to Gritcherpedia, the Gritchersons practice kung fu yoga, don't eat pineapple, and poop 400 times a year. But it never said anything about running from fans! That's because it's acting, Squirt. If we split up, I bet we can find them before they wrap. <laughs> That's Hollywood talk. Come on! <laughs> We outran whatever that was. Time for a peace spot check. All clear. You too. Oh, nice work, dear. There you are. It's dinner time. But don't you want any of my famous stone soup? I loved you guys in Screaming Zombie Stompers 3D. Oh, how ironic. Get it off me! Get it off me! Ah! <laughs> Look, it's Gretchikins! Gretchikins! Gretchikins has come to save us! Gretchikins! <sighs> Please, get us out of here. So, it's true? You weren't just acting scared, but... But you wrestled sharks! You you fought mutant gators! You crashed a jet to get here! Ah, <sighs> guess it's up to old Gretchikins to set the story straight again. Oh, I don't do slimy. Stop double! <laughs> you knew this whole time? Sure. You sent stunt doubles to all my birthday parties because you didn't trust the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, guys. None of this would have happened if you acted like normal parents, even if you are the world's biggest cowards. You're so right, dear. Oh, Squirt, look at me. We can still love their movies, right? Even if the Christiansons are the world's biggest coward. <laughs> no, we can't. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't. Now, let's go before Mount Fit to Blow explodes. You can act not scared better than anybody! Okay, I can do that. And action! Thanks for saving us. Oh, and by the way, I did notice you borrowed the rescue scene from Lava Luau the Third. 
So you have seen your parents' movies, Gretch? Oh, only like a trillion times. See, I told you, you could act not scared better than any... <laughs> This is so going in the scrapbook! Gadget Sawyer, who knew you were a comet tracking zombie? Oh, I've been studying the sky for years. Comets, meteors, weather patterns, bird droppings. <laughs> Vertical fart cone. Very rare. <laughs> hmm. I've studied lots of bird droppings, but never actual birds dropping. <laughs> I hope the comet didn't have anything to do with that. You're the expert. Aren't regular comets only visible at night? I never have seen a daytime comet before, Gretch, but I'm sure it's totally normal. Uh, uh, who's to say what's normal anyway? Forget everything I said. Ah! McGee! Your face! Ah! Gretch, your hair! Guys, I'm trying to watch... Squirt! Your voice! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Why do we all look and sound like butt squat? We gotta make it stop! It's an improvement. <laughs> At least I don't sound like Butt Squad anymore. Oh, uh, butt Squad, is that you? Oh, sorry. I thought you were Butt Squad. Should do the trick. Catch it! Don't do this! <laughs> I said it was supposed to be lunch! Oh, sorry, Rosebud. <laughs> Not you too! Not me too, what? <laughs> no! No! Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, oh, that's much better. <laughs> There you are. I have to show you the strange readings, my ears. Yeah, yeah. While you're tracking weather, we've been trying to get rid of all this butt squattiness. Uh, hey, how come you're not all squatty? <laughs> I guess there is an upside to being a rotting corpse. Listen, I tracked that comet all day. I don't think it's a comet at all. Ah, even my boogers are butt squattified. Guys, focus. Go on, Sawyer. Finish what you were explaining. Uh, thanks. I'm tracking another weather phenomenon with my scientific devices. I think it can reverse the effect. Yeah, yeah. When did science help anyone? Butt Squad, what's going on? Why do we all look like you? Why? Silence. All will be explained, as I am the only one who can cure you. Welcome to my state-of-the-art Team Butt Squadifying facility. Here is where I, Jordan Butt Squad, will help Team Butt Squadify you. Because I'm cool like that. Yeah, you help us? Ha! Doubtful. Don't give in to your fears and mistrust, Gretch. They're symptoms of the Butt Squadifying Comet! <gasps> Here in the Team Butt Squadifying lab, the Butt Squadifiers work hard to Team Butt Squadify the victims of the Butt Squadifying Comet which reappears every 10 butt years. How do you think I ended up like this? Sure, it's too late for me, but I won't let others suffer, not even bottom smellers. Oh, Butt Squad, that's so... <gasps> Wedgie! Oh, <gasps> oh, no, what have I become? Me, that's who. <laughs> ah, better. Here, in the Deep Mud Squadifying Lab, you will learn to not be like me by someone who knows me best. Me. 
That's really important. <laughs> wow, total squatty move, Gretch. Whoa, you win, butt squat. Do what it takes to debutt squatify us and hurry. Oh, I will. I definitely will. <laughs> Buffing butt squats toenails. Do not ask why you're buffing butt squats toenails, Gretch. Ask how many more of butt squats toenails you get to buff. Buffing butt squats toenails is an honor. If that's an honor, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Give it back. Uh, <laughs> yes, I see now. This is an honor. Yes. Now feel the butt squat. Be the butt squat. Smell the butt. Ooh, here comes my favorite part. Ah, someone, get this butt squat out of me! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wet Walters. They're so McGee. And if you want to truly be butt washed, you must rid yourself of all things McGee forever. Butt squat, present! Butt gee, butt squirt, and Gretch squat reporting for butt duty, sir! <laughs> the butt washing is complete. I've created my own butt squad. Ha! I can't believe my butt squatifying satellite actually worked. Butt uh, squatifying satellite version 1.0. Warranty expiring right now. Butt squad, move out and repair that uh, classified object. Stat. Yes, butt, butt sir. sir. That strange weather pattern should be rolling in any time now. Um, uh, that isn't a comet. I sense something squatty. Classified object located. Bot squad! Commence repair stat! Bye-bye, classified object. But Silent, it is now time to put my butt plan into action. The cadiddles have been at Sunny Smiles all day. When are they coming back with a cure for all the butt... Is this part of the cure? Phase one of butt plan complete. Staff subdued and ready for butt washing regimen. Hey, where's Sawyer? I don't worry about him. He's busy tracking comets and slight breezes. Then it's time for butt plan phase two. Sunny Smilify Link Bottom. Activate the Sunny Smilander. <laughs> Your diabotical plan is over! As the weather pattern I've been tracking should be arriving... Oh, this weather pattern freaks! It's made of the collective stomach gases of a million tiny woodland creatures. That smells familiar. It's called the El Medina. Wait a second. Non Butt Squad McGee was named after a giant fart wind? The El Medina is a pleasant yet stinky wind. When it's boosted, it can blow anything away! Uh, what a stinky relief! Rich, we're almost deep on Squatified! The Sunny Smilander! We have to deactivate it before. Before I get to it, lame but Squad is too strong and squirt. Even the El Maginia can't blow it loose. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Not a making it rain and drawn! <gasps> Feeling butt squatty again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. This is the El Maginia. Look deep inside yourself and you will find a way to fight the Butt Squad. Yes, must fight Butt Squad. Only way McGee can make Stinky Wind proud. But how? How? <laughs> yes! 
Use the wet Walter! No! Yes! No! Huh. What do you know? Ah! What do you know? All it took to cure us was a little McGee spit. <laughs> hey, butt squirt! Have a nice treat! Whoa! I'm being McGeed! I squirt again! I squirt again! Thank you. After everything, I butt squatted for you. And this is how you thank me? Typical bottom smellers. Hey! Butt squat! Smell this! Ew! What stinks? Sorry, McGee. I, I don't think I'm totally de-butt squatified yet. <laughs> <laughs>